Germany is sad. I am leaving tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, I make videos on my travels. I'm currently in Berlin, Germany, and I'm about to go to Poland. So I make videos about my experiences in these countries. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so that way you get notified when I post a new video every week. Today, I'm gonna be trying out Met Brochen. <gasps> Brochen. That word is literally brochen is the hardest word for me to say. I just I don't know what it is about that word. It's just it's like not in my linguistics. It's so hard. I'm gonna link a video down below for Kelly does her thing because she made an incredible video about her eating met brochen and it was really informative of why I in particular am a little bit fearful of eating this, like what the American mentality is on met brochen. She really went into great detail about it. Basically, essentially, I'm really terrified of eating met brochen because it is something against my norm like growing up we've always been told not to eat, consume raw meat so always being told that and then coming here and people are eating it for breakfast it's just completely different for me but for you guys and for me i love trying out new foods i'm gonna try out met brochen i'm not gonna lie the more i've heard about it the more it's kind of grown on me i feel like i will like it but I don't know, we will see. So I picked this up from the butcher shop and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know wh why I didn't expect it, but I didn't expect it to smell this meaty. It is a little bit of a strong scent, but uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. When you open it, it has onions on it and garlic pieces so yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it I have a soy cappuccino right here <laughs> probably not what you eat with my protein but I need caffeine in my system so I'm going to try it It's good. I'm not gonna lie, it's good. It honestly it tastes like a type of spread. Like the meat tastes like a spread. There's quite a bit of meat on it, but I dig it. It's good. It's a little bit hard to get over the texture thing just because I'm like, holy shit, I'm eating raw meat. But it's good. Okay, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I really like it. It's pretty good. The hardest part for me is getting over the texture because it reminds me, oh, I'm eating raw meat, but it just kind of tastes like a spread, like a worse spread or something like that. Pretty good. I don't know if I would continually eat this because in my mind I still know it's raw meat, but I like it. It's pretty good. I think with a lot of people, they overthink this so much that they're so scared to try it. They think about it, they think about it, <clears throat> they think about it. And I think you really just have to kind of go for it because if you overthink it, you're gonna psych yourself out of it. So I'm really glad I'm trying this. It's pretty good. I don't want this piece of bread on top. I 
You never know until you try. I don't know who thought about this idea, just slabbing raw meat onto bread, but it's good. I like it. I have raw meat stuck in my teeth. My virgin, I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10. I'm almost done with you. It's good. I like it. Germans, good cuisine. Um, but yeah, I want to give you a little update about what's happening with me. And that is that today on March 5th, Hopefully I'll get this video actually out today and edited because I'm going to be on a train so I have time to edit because I have a few videos that I need to catch up on editing and that is that today, March 5th, I'm going to Poland and I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to share my experience with y'all in Poland. I'm going to Poland for an entire month so I will be there making videos working saving up money and then my plan after that is to go to Norway and Sweden to visit some friends and then after that I will be going back to Texas and I'm planning on making more Texas cultural videos because I think that's something that y'all would be interested in so I'm planning on making some videos there and then I will be flying to Asia I will probably be flying to Indonesia actually to go to Bali. That's what I have in mind, but I'm kind of gonna go wherever is the cheapest to fly. And I will be traveling Asia for a while before I come back to Germany at the end of this year. So I just wanted to kind of give you all a little life update, what you can expect. And I'm just freaking pumped to make more cultural videos, to work on YouTube, to work on my blog, kimcrossesborders.com. And I don't know if y'all know about this, but I have a weekly newsletter that I've been sending out. So if you are not subscribed to my weekly newsletter, please subscribe. I have the link down below and that's free. And I just give you updates um, weekly on what is up. And it's kind of like a look into my brain. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. And I just wanted to thank you all for watching my videos and it really means a lot to me and thanks for all of the suggestions and I literally got so many recommendations for Germany and I was a little bit sad that I feel like I didn't have enough time to do everything um, but I only had a month here and so I definitely am going to keep all of those recommendations in my mind. I want to go to Hearts Mountains next time I'm in Germany over the winter. That is like my dream right now. So I think that's my next thing in Germany. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about what is to come. Thank you guys. I love bringing you along on this journey. I wish I could just give you all... A virtual hug and I will see y'all next time. Cheers! Ciao! <laughs> Done! Watch my next video be me in a hospital because I'm gonna get food poisoning.